Hello everybody, my name is Ruby, and um, recently I have been trying out window managers again. You may recall a few videos ago where I said window managers aren't really my thing, but I decided to give them another try and I'm actually really enjoying it. So right now, I'm on BSPWM mixed with Polybar and Rofi. If I open up the terminal real quick, if I just, you can see this is the setup I have going on. I am still on Arch Linux. I haven't gone to Gen 2 yet. So I've been really enjoying BSPWM. It is very minimal. I would even say it's more minimal than DWM because while well, DWM, you compile it from the source and you know, it's like, I think 2000 lines of code or something like that. BSPWM is just a window manager. It doesn't come with a bar. It doesn't even come with hotkeys. You need a separate program for that. I'm using SXHKD. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, and of course, I'm using Polybar up here. My uh, transparency and blur isn't the best, but that is because my laptop doesn't support OpenGL, so my compositor is struggling a little bit. Um, but yeah, so basically, if you don't know what a tiling window manager does, so it lets you open windows like this and it manages them, right? Usually it tiles them like this. BSPWM, uh, I think it's called Fibonacci whatever it's called where it basically spirals into the corner like that which I think is very cool and of course you can size things however you want it uses vim keys which I like but if you're not a vim user that might get a little bit confusing and of course you can shift windows back and forth between each other and yeah another thing there are well it's like this a little bit slow because of the blur I have going on where you can have it float you can resize it you can pop it back into tiling mode you can full screen it now there is a small issue that I'm having with the full screen or monocle mode as it's called if I run like I don't know bash top here and then another one neo fetch and make it a little bit smaller that way bash top will load if I full screen one, it doesn't hide everything else in the background, which can get kind of annoying, but I mean, it's really not that big a deal. It's not, it's especially not really a big deal if you don't use transparency. Um, another cool thing I have on my setup is window swallowing. This is a thing that, um, it's a feature, or no, it's a patch for DWM that Luke Smith showed off a long time ago. Or basically when you open a window in a terminal it hides the terminal that way it's not just taking up space right um for example if I open Firefox in my terminal it's running Firefox here inside the terminal and you can't really do anything with it and if you close that terminal it closes the Firefox instance that was running inside of it uh, DistroTube had a video on window manager agnostic window swallowing that way you can run it within any window manager and there's no like special patches or forks of any window managers you need for it to work. Um, I believe it's called Devour. It uses a thing called uh, xdo, I think, that basically just shows and hides X windows. But if I go into my ZSHRC, this also works with bashrc, you can see it runs the script, or there's aliases that run the script devour before these programs I have set. There is my town. I'm going to block that out so I don't dox myself. Oops. Um, so yeah, basically, if you run it and then a command like Firefox, you can see it hides the terminal. It's going to take a second to open Firefox because this laptop's slow. But you can see that it hid the terminal behind it. And uh, when you close it, it comes back up. And that is useful for things like MPV. If I not engine, if I CD into my videos folder, uh, I bound MPV to devour MPV, so I can do MPV and then just load a video. You can see it opens like that in MPV. Same thing for events. If I CD into my books folder and then open a PDF, you can see it opens it in events and hides the terminal for the moment being. And then it's back here. 
So that is something that I think is really cool. And that's not something exclusive to BSPWM or even really window managers. You can probably have this work in like GNOME, KDE, or XFCE. Now up here is my poly bar. It's um, nothing crazy complicated. It's pretty much the stock configuration. I just changed some of the colors, made it transparent. Um, changed it to text instead of emojis for most of these. I left the time one like that because I kind of like it. If you click it, it shows the date. Battery, that C is for charging. If I unplug it, it goes away. Plug it back in. It'll give it a sec. That C is back. There's CPU, memory, volume. You can scroll on it to change it. Apparently you can't. That just crashed my poly bar. Uh, whoops. Um, I'll have to look into that. That's not supposed to happen. But yeah. Um, then I have Rofi, which is like pretty much stock configuration. I haven't really bothered with trying to set it up yet. It's just running the drun command, which looks for .desktop files. So instead of commands, you're looking for like desktop things. The only reason I have that instead is because my Spotify is a flat pack. So the command Spotify doesn't really do much. And Rofi doesn't read aliases. So it's kind of annoying, but you know. It is what it is. So yeah, that is my next step in becoming the ultimate Linux nerd, um, whatever, loser. I don't know. I just think this stuff is cool. And of course, very minimal. You can see I have, I'm only using 800 megabytes of RAM. Or no, I'm using a gigabyte now. But like that's with Spotify open and I'm recording something. And you know, it looks pretty damn nice. Um, because my config isn't really done, I haven't really set up Rofi yet. Um, I haven't uploaded it to anything. However, once it's done and I'm pretty happy with it, I'm probably going to upload it to something like GitHub or whatever. And I'm going to add it to an install script that I've been working on for a bit. That way you can automate setting it up and I can just install it on any machine without any issue. So, uh, yeah, that's my setup.